start of the actual build of the rocket mass heater. I have uh, put eight inches of clay mixed with uh, concrete down the bottom and packed it with a four x four. That was work. And then uh, the light stuff you see there is uh, uh, paving sand. It goes underneath pavers. There's gonna be a layer of bricks. And then we'll actually start building the heater. So I don't have stovepipe yet, but uh, the stovepipe is not uh, uh, set in stone as to where it goes. So I can build some of it before I get the stovepipe and then have to figure out exactly where it's got to go compared to where everything is. So anyway, I'm going to get back to it and I'll give you little updates as I go. Okay, I've got the whole bottom end of the uh, bell stratification chamber, whatever you want to call it, uh, put together. Then I've got this filled up part way. Uh, next there'll be about four inches of gravel or maybe three inches of gravel and then about two inches of sand. And uh, then it's going to be filled in with uh, bricks on edge all the way across. And uh, that should do it for this part of it. Then I've got to cap that and my stovepipe comes up out of there and then uh, the heat will actually go around the back side of the stovepipe through the bench back around drop into there back through there and up and out and that's sitting about 16 inches below floor level in here which means it's just below the uh, it's about 10 inches or so below the level of the floor on the bottom so that should heat the underside of the house and keep my pipes from freezing so at least that's the idea wow this is going to be a lot of work and a lot of bricks a whole lot of bricks I'm glad I got a lot of bricks I've barely even dented my pile <laughs> and over there is a core for the rocket mass heater, but haven't got started on it yet, other than just stacking it to make sure I had enough bricks, fire bricks. But that's all fire bricks. They need cleaned up and and I'll have to get it all set up. I guess you're not seeing that very well, are you? We'll walk over. There you go. So yeah, like I said, they gotta get cleaned up. They were most of these were under dirt, so I'm gonna have to scrub them down as I put them in. All right, guys, I'll be back in a little bit with another update.
guys, here we are. So I've started building the rocket mass heater as you've seen in the previous clips leading up to now. I'm doing this part in video because when I went to look at, to buy this tee right here, this clean out, uh, there was a couple there in the aisle that asked me if I would do a video installing the rest of the, the, the uh, stove pipe. So I'm doing the rest of this video installing the stove pipe. So like, here's my wall thimble, this is the adapter to go from the double walled pipe which is right here, or at least the first piece that goes out the wall. Uh, that's the adapter that goes to the single walled stuff. This will downturn and come down to this. There's a five sections of two foot black pipe there, damper. We're going to get all that put in, and that'll be the inside. And then the outside has got uh, a T and two 36 inch pieces, and a bracket that goes on the wall, and there's a clean out at the bottom of the T, etc. So, and of course, the rain cap. But we're going to get uh, all of that put in, and then I can move forward with uh, building my bench on the mass here on the uh, uh, pad that, the, that this whole thing's sitting on. Uh, by the way, the barrel's not actually connected right now. It's just sitting on top of there. Uh, that's just where I'm at in the build. Um, so anyway, once I've got that done and got it closed up, then I can fire it to see how we're doing and start covering it in cob. Uh, I like doing the cob while I'm firing it so it dries a little faster and you're putting layers on as it's uh, sucking the moisture out and whatever you want to call it and they blend together better. I did that when I was building the one inside and it just worked out really great so we're going to stick with that. So give me a second to get set up and uh, we'll uh, make it happen. because the airflow that's going through here, but water will go through those. And if it comes down the pipe, it's facing this way, then the water will come out the outside and you'll get rust lines down the outside of your pipe. So if you do this way, then any condensation that gets on the inside of this pipe just goes down into the stove or it evaporates and goes back out. It becomes condensation again, drips down. Then an endless cycle. Last look at this beautiful wall, folks, before <laughs> he punches a giant hole in it. Not a giant hole. It'll be a giant hole. Isn't it pretty? It's a pretty. <laughs> As you can tell, Tracy's disappointed that I'm going to punch a hole in the wall. Yes, I am. <laughs> I mean, I get it. You know, ventilation is good, but, <laughs> but, but still.
that wall back there and this wall right here are three quarters. So you can cut three quarters then right there. I gotta be between studs. And I'm close. But I need to make sure that I'm between studs before I actually drill that hole.
single wall is a double wall adapter, 12 inch double wall. They snap together like so. And goes just like so. And now I can connect the two. So we keep going up. So I had to cut these two pieces, that one to 13 and 3 quarters, and then we're going to put our elbow on there, and then this little guy. Now, I don't necessarily need to screw the joints going down this way, because the weight of this is going to hold them together anyway. But this one I probably do need to screw off, but I am not going to put screws in it yet because when I put the T on the outside, after it locks into this piece, I need to turn it so that the T is facing, the opening is facing up. And that means that this one is going to want to turn inside of this one. So once that's all set out there, I'll come back in and put a screw in this to hold it from falling away from the wall. And yeah, this is always fun. I should have done it the other way. This black pipe tends to fit these uh, really tight. There it is. That is right where it needs to be. So now, once the rain stops, I can go outside and put the rest of the chimney on.